one step closer to becoming permanent. WVUA 23's Jabari Pruitt joins us live with more. Jabari. Well, Tamika, the current entertainment district expired Saturday, so now the city is looking at making it seven days a week. The current entertainment district in Tuscaloosa started September 15th and extended to January 27th, but it ended Saturday. During Tuesday, City Council Public Projects Committee members discussed making the current entertainment district permanent. This would mean people can openly drink alcohol. Participating retailers can serve alcohol in to-go cups, and patrons can carry that cup inside the approved area. If it becomes permanent, it will be in effect at all times alcohol is sold. So currently we've already had several people request special entertainment districts for events that are going to go on this year. So what this would do is allow the entertainment district to be permanent. So when there's special events or people are wanting to have festivals, they won't have to actually come in and get an entertainment district. It'll be in place all the time. The proposal moved out of the committee and now heads to the council for a public hearing next Tuesday. And the 10-month West Tuscaloosa study has taken a major step. Consultants are in Tuscaloosa this week talking with residents about problematic areas, why economic development has not moved to the western part of the city, and find out what the city need to do to improve the infrastructure. Consultants are looking in the areas of 2059 on the south, Joe Malisham Parkway, Black Warrior River on the north, and 28th Street. This study is going to answer all of those questions and help us be able to make better decisions so that we can start to grow with economic development and more um, housing and, and help us get rid of the blight and all of those things that will help us grow and feel safer as a community. Now, the first set of public hearings for the West Tuscaloosa study is February 14th from 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. at the McDonald Hughes Center. The second one is February 15th from 5 p.m. until 7 p.m. at the Old Stillman Heights Elementary School. Live tonight from the studio, Jabari Pruitt, WVUA 23 News.